This is one of the most difficult alphabets to lay out because of its um, tight, uniform, mechanical form. Um, with other types of alphabets, you can kind of fudge things a little bit to get yourself centered. But for example, let's say we're doing a parking in rear sign and uh, we wanted to hand letter it and we wanted to center parking oops, we wanted to center parking in rear and here's the center line, our guidelines and our layout, our, in other words our, our uh, full, uh, you know, our panel, our border. So we, the one way would be obviously to sketch it out right on the panel um, and hope you get lucky you know, so you're probably going to do something like uh, parking in rear and center one, two, three, one, two, three. So K is kind of the center, but I is narrower than the rest of the letters. So you got to make up for that. So you got to actually scoochie it over. So K will probably end up being something like that. And uh, R will be there and A, you can kind of work backwards and forwards and, and then just hope that it ends up centered on the panel. Um, it, it rarely ever does because of the um, fact that it's, it's the, the letters are so tight and narrow and such, such, uh, such tight mechanical spacing that you, I guarantee you'll, be, you'll come up shorter than you think you will. On, on the uh, on the finished end, you know, so on the on the right side. Uh, so obviously, one way there's there's some options. One way is uh, probably the most obvious, which would be to make a um, uh, pounce pattern. I mean, if you you know, this is a digital version of the alphabet, and then pounced. Um, and so, why you do this, I have no idea. But let's say. Yeah, you know, I mean that would have been a lot faster, and I would have had this done in vinyl in about you know what three minutes. So now, instead, I'm going to line this up. For some reason, you need it to be uh, in, hand painted. For some reason, maybe somebody wants it hand painted. They don't want it to look like vinyl. Well, this would be one option to do it. It'd also be a great option if you have multiple parking and rear signs that you have to do, and they're all the same size and all the same format then this is a great way to do it and you just take your, in this case, white, white pounce, apply it, there you go, and you got your, you got your letters and you just follow that and it's dead center, you don't have to think or worry about it, you just get your brush and you start filling in. So that's one way. Another way is to um, go ahead and letter this right on a piece of paper quickly with a brush you could use either this is the brush I'm going to be using for the actual panel and you could you could use a water based uh, you know water color brush and some water based um, paint to knock this out quick and it'll dry quick so you can handle it won't mess around with it or you can just go ahead and use the same one shot or same lettering enamel with the same brush and do it on there real quick too and it doesn't have to be perfect it just you the most mostly what you need is is to have the letter forms so that when you get to the project actual project panel um, you all you have to do is just line it up at the top so you can just you know you can just go ahead and quickly just you know do this So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna knock this out real quick. So I know where I'm gonna end up. So I know where I'm gonna end up. See, I didn't even do that bar. All, I, all you need is the verticals. But see, now you can get your letter spacing act. I wouldn't even do the, the part. I just hope I don't spell PAP when I actually do it. Um, so now you don't even need your, you know, you don't need all of the, uh, all of the crossbars and legs and things like that. You just need to, um, 
You just need to lay it out quick, like this. And do this. And I won't even do that angle, but again, you got to think when you're actually going to do it and you don't start misspelling everything. So you just get all your letter spacing and all your gaps the same. So there's parking. I only took, what, you know, maybe 20 seconds. And then, um, and then do the inner rear. You know, and you're just doing your, you're just following your same letter. And I think I'll just do that. Just <laughs> remind me that's an in. You make your letter spacing. I'll keep all everything uniform. Everything, and if you mess this up, no problem. No, nobody cares. In re okay, so this will be an E. I'm just, I'm just gonna do that so I don't mess up on the final project. I mean, see, this doesn't even have to be perfect. But brush doesn't have to be loaded all the way. Just needs to get on. So you can whip this on here pretty quick. You just want to be sure you're, you know, focusing pretty well on your letter spacing and your. Like that, so that only took what maybe a minute, a little over a minute. You can just find the center real quick. There's nine, so it's four and a half, and this one's eight, and that's four. Put a center mark on there. Then you can just cut it. You just cut it down here, and just cut it like that. Who cares? So all you need, all you need it for, is to line you up. That's it. You just have your center points. Preferably, do the bottom one go up, because if you that way you have some place to put the, uh, you know, you, that way you can put the bottom line on your center line, and it just won't be wet. Because if you do the top line first, then you don't have, you know, you can put it down below, I guess, if you want. But it just seems like it'd be easier. It's easier to work from the top. And then you just tape it on the center line, right above your, right above this line. Boom, boom, and you're ready to letter. You just start your I right there, and your N, and your R. Of course, the easiest would be um, to justify left if you can, if your project. Um, merits that then you don't have to worry about laying it out at all you can just start you can just start lettering um, just knowing that you know if you have some long sentence or something that uh, that you're gonna just be mindful of that fact that if you're gonna say like some long thing uh, you just have to really think about that and for a little little tiny eighth inch um, brushes. I don't even use a mall stick. Just glide my hand down the project. Don't worry too much about a little bit of dry paint. And then just, uh, just start working your way down. Same letter forms. Try to keep your nose right in, in front of your letter so you don't go off on a slant. Easy to do with these thin letters. And this would be, I don't know, you probably you, you might do something like this for a for a car sh uh, car sign, a car show card or something like that. You could tape up the bottom or just make sure it's, just keep making sure you're, you're nice and chiseled because that'll make the, that'll make the letter form look, look like the big version. 
just keep all that one third stuff in your mind. On the exact same strokes. <laughs> Tedious. But if somebody wanted something by done by hand and you want to do something other than just a casual, something that's more, I guess, uh, I guess you can call it formal, or just a little bit more structured and slick and clean. Working this small with this small a brush is uh, is all about a, a, about the amount of paint in your brush because it uh, little teeny brushes like this don't hold much paint and so and also don't thin your white or light colors as much as you do blacks for example or super dark colors because um, you don't want to have to do this you don't want to have to go over this because it's too transparent and also add just a teeny touch of black to your white that helps it it helps it become a little more opaque and this is kind of just I guess you'd have to call it therapeutic if you want. My eyesight is not the greatest, even with my glasses. But I still have a pretty steady hand, fortunately. But you can see how all this is translatable. This this mechanical, all this mechanical stuff. This S, it's all just it's all translatable into size. Even these little little teeny sizes. You're just thinking about, you know, the all the. Just, just you already have this. Everything about each letter is structured. Over, down, a third, over, down, sweep, forty five, down, hook. is a fun letter. And this would obviously take a lot more time than than a casual. But if it merited it, it really it really is a it really is a unique, I mean not unique, but it really is a, uh, 
neat look. And keep going, you know, if you have something else down here. You just keep going down the down the list. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging this as I go here. Let's just say it's a let's just say it's a not, let's let's put the year here for some reason. And then the same little sweep tab. Well, that that'll be a one. Just a little eighth inch. Um, This is a little eighth inch uh, land nickel nocturna. And put the nine. Swing it around so you can get down. Line it up. Nineteen. Let's make it a sixty-five. That's most popular. One of the most popular. And you might have other details, you know, date details or whatever, on this line. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. See, we're always just thinking of these letter spacing, the inside negative spacings matching. It's really going to make this look clean. Clean and classy. 1965, uh, 65. Down to the halfway point for the 5. Up and over. Down. Swing it. And so you can see how, you know, doing just a file left this way, you could, you know, make, that way you don't have to do any layout. You don't have to do any layout, you could just do, you know, Ford Mustang, whatever, N65, just keep going across, because you know you're not going to go all the way. You might have some things that are longer. This is also a great alphabet for um, knockout banners. Um, like now open something that you don't you want to use a little something nicer than just a just a casual or script or something like that if you want to have use this alphabet for like say now open you can start out with a soft vine charcoal on paper start out drawing it in you know with the idea of it in because this stuff will come off with a chamois and you just start and so you're thinking you know I'll just do Getting your, getting your head in that um, vertical. <laughs> it's about getting your kind of getting that mindset of thinking there are columns, 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 columns all the way down. And then once you've got that, you know, if you, hopefully you, you can shoot your paper long and and cut it to fit wherever it's going. If you've got to fit it inside something exact or precise, and you want this to line up pretty close, you might have to do a little measuring and things like that. Uh, but once you get your rough idea, then you, then you can uh, line it up a little, line, line it up a little nicer. And you could also, you know, kind of clean your, clean the things up a little bit, make it make it a little tighter. This is where my now you know now you know what your letter width is. You know, you establish your letter width. Whatever happens inside is 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 going to be up to the width of your brush. So now you you know you just want you don't want to close. I mean, this is going to be they're going to throw this away in a couple of days. So it's not like you're trying to be not like this is going to be sitting up there forever. But you just want to get your you know, have a, have your have your letter space. You need to measure. You know, have a yardstick and say, "Wow, that's you know, that's five inches. That's five inches. That's going to be more than five inches." 
that's five inches, that's five inches, that's a hair less than five, and that's all hair over five, you know, big deal. And you got your poster paint or whatever, whatever watercolor, water-based paint you like to use. And then uh, just thinking the exact same thing we were doing small, we're going to think big. So it's just the exact same, exact same uh, concept. This, these I can tell that already that these letters spacing in between is going to the negative space is going to be greater than what we have been doing. Uh, you know, there's and that's okay. Basically, all now you're doing is just vertical lines. One stroke. So I know this is going to be five inches wide. And again, my face is, is in the middle of the stroke uh, so that I'm making sure that I go, I'm going down level. And I'm using my pinky to slide down the paper. If I wanted to, I could get the mall stick and, and uh, do that. I might have to do that. So I don't think I trust myself, but I'll give it a shot. So this is just a, you know, it's kind of a cleaner, classic look. Maybe you have a store that's a little more, that wants something a little nicer than just, than just uh, casual for some reason. Same with the O, we're just going to go down. I'm seeing that the letter width is also wider, which, I mean, the space between the letters. Spin clockwise. Took my pinky off the paper. So got a little bit more confident. Still shaking a little bit, but the brush is the brush is helping me. Oh. See, we're just we're just thinking about those two meeting um, primarily. Those two those two negative points, and then you know we've got our same stroke system. Down, spun the brush, looking head on, getting a nice vertical, getting a nice vertical. Vertical stroke. And yes, it does take a little longer than a casual, but you could probably do this faster than me. Thinking about our gaps, not getting perfect. That's a little gap there, it's a little narrower. But you can see with the right brush and the right consistency of paint. You can, it's not that bad, not that slow. It's 
so I don't get too sloppy. Steady hand. I'm just using my arm. You seeing this? You seeing this? Just using the arm. Line myself up at the top. And then just mostly my shoulder and arm. So that wasn't too bad. Didn't take too long. Just point to point, that's all we're thinking. Just point to the left point. Now, now, oh, I put the or in. <laughs> what do you do now? <laughs> well, that's where you say, I blew it. <laughs> so now what I would probably do, because trying to patch that would look pretty bad. So instead of patching it, I'll just pull a piece of paper out, throw it over the top of this after this is dry, and then I just go right over the top of that with a new piece of paper because that would even take that would take like a quarter of the time at that point because now I'm just tracing and falling right over that thing. So I I wouldn't try to patch that unless and it's way high up and you can't see it. But if you're at eye level. I wouldn't try to wipe that out because it would really stand out. So anyway, oops. <laughs> and for um, like celebratory banners like birthdays and graduation and congratulations, this is a great um, alphabet for particularly doing something super bold. Like let's say you wanted the person's name to just stand out. It's a great one where you can just make it super fat. You know, it's a, it's the same alphabet, but you just you just making it super duper fat, and it's also you can you can go off on being you know a little bit more, I guess you call creative with it too, you know. So you're just you're just doing this, and we're gonna put uh, I'm gonna put in key. Um, and you can get a little bit more playful with it as well. Um, and, ha and you know, because you've got that letter form in your head. Let's see, you did something like that. You can keep it all justified to the left, for example, and then just like put us in a script. You like happy birthday or congratulations or something like that. And this could all be outlined, and this would be more of a fill-in alphabet. Um, you just, you know, you just take your thickest brush and just, you know, kind of have at it. So, for example, I mean, you could, you could take like, uh, kind of maybe a little lighter color, and then like this is kind of like a sage greeny kind of thing. I did went ahead and put some uh, guidelines in. Um, this, you know, if you want to make it, you can make it really playful and go off those and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But if you want to keep kind of concentrating on that, on the uh, letter form, you know, you could just take into consideration, you know, where things, where things go relationally. And if you want to still get formal about it, you can still do that. You know, you're still looking at these these spaces in here. This is going to be a little filled in there. And directionally, you're just you just still you're still thinking about your letter form. And once you got that, boom! Well, I mean, you could even leave that open just for a kind of a cool effect. Same thing here. You're just you're doing the exact same letter form. You know, we're just all we're doing was just transition. You know, we're just translating it to a great, a bigger size. So we're going to be there. We're going to be there. We're going to be there. You know, and and we're going to come down here, 
counterclockwise. See, it's still it's still a pretty clean looking letter, even though I'm just kind of whipping it around. And our thickness of that, you know, we're just we're going to base it on. Well, we do need a gap in here, obviously. So you just you just we're just going to keep that in mind relationally where everything's going to go. Line ourselves up. I mean, this is being still being kind of kind of technical about it. But yeah, if you don't like it all messed up in there, you just boom, fill it in. Still thinking about our our gaps, our letter spacing in between the letters. Pretty quick. Just thought I'm actually going to go off the off the uh, top guideline. I do that when the when the letter's super wide, and it, it it just looks it looks better a little when it's super wide and squatty. It it actually looks better up on the guideline. This same same letter width. We're still thinking about that. Be mindful of that. Open it around. Same letter space. I mean, same letter width. So I'm not deviating from that. Because we're just still trying to nail that into our mind. That shouldn't take long at all. And then you can decide whether you want to connect this or leave that. So the way to do that is to do this. And this is always a little thinner than the than the other than the than the main stroke. And say, so, mm, oh, I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and fill this in so it doesn't make us nervous. That should be just like you're painting a house. Doop, doop, doop. Like that. Okay, it's a little thicker. You can see that. And then tighten that in there a little bit. And the same letter width. Stroke width. Come off of this, up, over, down. We're going to do our we're going to do our letter width. So we'll do the inside. I mean the inside negative space. So we're matching this one. That way it'll look it'll look more even. That way it won't, it'll look like there's something wrong with the letter. So once you do that, you've got that lock. Now you just do the same. Now you can do the same letter width here, keeping this a little stroke. Out, down. And you've justified less, you still, you know, you can see all this space, and, but you're not, the nice thing is you don't have to think about layout this way when you just justify it left like that. So then I got this name, and um, one thing that you could even do is uh, clean this up a little bit for one thing. We can fatten this up. That might look a little better. I like that, so I'm going to leave that. I can just tuck this underneath this E, button that up a little bit. Um, so as you see, the capital is uh, wider. We can even, if we're just, since we're getting all professional here, we can do this, widen this E too. Getting all technical. Because we're having fun with this letter form. Straighten it out, thicken it up. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, that's that's uh, clean and you know, it's just it's just a I call it a step up from a from a casual. Uh, and then and then from there, like I said, you can you can do a script, a cool script or anything. You know, congratulations or if you want this, uh, use this letter for uh, your grocery store banners per se. 
Um, if you want something a little more formal than the than the than the casuals, you can uh, you can do you know today or today's special, whatever. You can justify it left, so it's uh, more economical and efficient. And, uh, And again, this stuff comes off. It's just soft vine charcoal. And um, you can do, for instance, you can do your today and the price in this in this uh, alphabet. So let's say you did, um, let's say you did like something was 99 cents. You know, something was 99 cents. So you're there, and you're gonna have a little cent here. Whatever, and then uh, and again, just pick our brush based on our little form and size and width and all those all those ideas. So we're thinking, well, this this looks like it would keep the letter space when we want close enough for a paper banner. Absolutely. So we got a. We use a half inch brush for this. Take our basic red. Um, in this case, with the capital T, I'm going to go ahead and, since it's the first letter, I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, main stroke, main vertical stroke. And nothing else changes at this point. We're just doing the exact same thing we've been doing, um, and then we're going to we're going to establish our letter width. So we've got we've got our letter width is going to be like so. It's a more formal formal version, and then we're just going to. We can make it tight or loose. You know, if we want to make it a little more loose, we can. We'll just just make sure we're consistent with that looseness. So, so let's say we want to do like a maybe like a half inch, a half inch letter space. So we'll just do a half inch, and that happens to be the width of the brush. So that'll help us. So the half inch and a half inch uh, brush stroke, and we'll just do. Let's just do a half inch all around. So we'll just do half inch letter space, half inch um, brush stroke, and half inch inside negative space. Makes it easy to not to think so much. Come down, we're gonna go half inch. This is gonna be our tricky little tricky little stroke here. Come up with a you're gonna think about that half inch gap with the hook at the bottom. The same with this. Going to come up and over, and we've got to make sure we're we're going to give we have a half inch loop. Got to make sure we have that half inch loop in there. And then now we just come down. We're going to line ourselves up with that half inch gap. Nice vertical stroke right in front of the letter, so we know make sure it's vertical. And then uh, the A's, so we want that half inch. Allow for a half inch gap, come down a third, up and over with a half inch gap, and then down, swing it, round that off a little bit, come off of that, 45, half inch, line it up with the top one, nice long hook. And then another half inch gap here. Come down just above the line. Another half inch gap. I mean a half inch hook. Half inch gap. Down. Swing it. We'll line ourselves up with that stroke. Just above the line. Come down. Bring it around. Today. For our 99 cents, we'll use our one inch because that looks like it's going to be a that, that scales out to the 
a good size for this for this width and height. So you know, we're just gonna hit here, 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 and just keep our we have plenty of room, so we're gonna come down at the halfway point, we just make our hook. And then we vertical brush, come up and over. Looks like about a three quarter inch gap. All the way down, spin it. Clean up our hook a little bit. About a third up or so. And yeah, third up and line ourselves up. Press down. Spin around. Now with the this this thick of a brush handle, I kind of cradling the three finger method. You know, with the with the middle finger and forefinger, because it's just it's a, too big of a brush to do to do the three finger. But I still have a three three finger uh, spin motion as a result. And then. Um, I'm just going to hug this. I'm going to hug this one a little bit. So same thing. Come down. Same point. Make the same hook. Same. Same. Uh, space. Up and over. Same letter space. Same negative space. I mean. Spin clockwise. Clean up this little round. Like that. And then same height. Same red. That's how mechanical that is. Here, here. It's like X, Y. And spin around. This this combination layout is, uh, is a, creates a great opportunity for uh, a nice uh, change in um, contrast and also uh, prior, prioritizing. So today, 99 cents, and then in here you can put your product. Um, and, and I like to put it at an angle like this. It's this perfect fill-in place like that. And it kind of breaks up these two. So let's say we're doing, uh, I don't know, like beats and this, where you, you want to have a contrasting alphabet. So you do like maybe your, your, your uh, Let's see, how do you spell beets? <laughs> I better do bacon. <laughs> um, oh, two e's. <laughs> okay, so you got so you got two e's. Yeah, so beets. So you could do something like that, and and then uh, this could be ninety nine cents each. Could be, you know, you could stay with this with this uh, alphabet for each, uh, that's a perfect opportunity for that and that. And then, um, and then of course your scent sign, you use the same color. And just this exact same thing, we're doing that, we're doing that C, we're doing a C. And up and over, down, a third, stop, cap it off. And just and then uh each you can just line it up there. Same thing. All we're doing is a mechanical letter. About the halfway point. Close off that gap.
Ben. Third. Up and over, same gap as the E. Off the stroke, 45, line it up, and hook. I hope you have the opportunity to include condensed gothic in your lettering quiver. And above all, have fun. Thanks for watching.